Hello. I'm not sure if we're live, but yes, if we, we are. are then welcome, everyone. Welcome, friends. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath to you. We're just waiting for everyone to come so that we are on time. We're a little bit early right now. So I hope you had a great week. And uh, we are at sunset already here in Oshawa. Mm -hmm. So we had a wonderful week. And uh, we're here in the studio. And it's just great to be here. Mm -hmm. Feeling really good. Yeah. And it's nice that it's Sabbath. Nice, mm -hmm. uh, warm inside, cold outside. We were uh, doing some shoveling this morning, some really icy sidewalks. It wasn't, yes, it wasn't it was, snow, it was ice. No, it was because it snowed a little bit last night yeah. and then it rained this morning in the wee hours of the morning and so we had a thin layer of ice over the snow. So we got a yeah. good workout this morning when we was when we were shoveling. And so. there was no one could get out. So we did um, our neighbors and our um, yards, <laughs> our driveways yeah. and, uh, and their sidewalk. So yeah. we're so glad you're here with us. And uh, we're looking forward to, to spending this time with you this evening. So how are we doing? Yeah. I hope everyone uh, is able to talk to us. And if you are, tell us where you're from. Yeah, just Maybe leave you have a comment. Some, some... Just type it in the comments and let us know where you're from so we can see who's watching us. Yeah, if you have any Our prayer first requests. Evening. Our evening. First evening. We've never mm -hmm. done this before um, on Facebook Live. So, yeah, tell us where you're from. Tell us your prayer requests. Comment, and um, and we will we will be able to communicate with you. Okay. So, yeah. So should we should we wait a little bit? Just a little bit for someone else. Maybe he's trying to get on, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we can we can get started mm -hmm. so yeah i hope you had a wonderful week and uh the lord has been blessing you and tell us tell us what's what's happening for you and how god has been speaking to you he's been speaking to us very much through his word and uh, that's a really important thing to store up god's word in your heart tomorrow our program is really about words and the Word of God and how the Word of God can change your life and how science has actually proved that by storing up God's Word in your mind, by memorization of Scripture, by repetition, not mindless repetition, but a, a, a meditation that goes deep into your heart, you think through the words of God, how that can change a person, change people who are uh, struggling with difficult uh, mental issues, with mm -hmm. uh, maybe some kind of a, a cognitive problem. So this is this is amazing. You really want to see that tomorrow. So we're going to begin now. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who have just joined us, welcome friends and happy Sabbath. And thank you so much for joining us live for a power packed 15 minutes to open the Sabbath here at Eddie's Ritz in Canada. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Yeah, let's pray. Thank you, Father, for the Sabbath. Uh, the sun has set here in Oshawa, and we thank you for giving us this time to look into your holy word, the Bible, because we know that we can't live by bread and water or any physical food at, alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So let me be honest with you. Um, I don't know how you're feeling, but I keep thinking that we are living in the time of the end. And uh, there's kind of a dread in the air. So let me ask you a question. How did you deal with this? How do you deal with uh, using your time? What's the best way to use your time if you sense that we are living in the time of the end? So mm -hmm. what do you think? Well, the Bible says in Isaiah 55, verses 6 and 7, it reads that, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord. And 
he will have mercy on him and to our God, for he will be abundantly pardoned. Mm. So God will abundantly pardon us. He is asking us to get close to him. So getting close to God, spending your time meditating on the words of God found in the Bible. Um, I think of Amos, Amos chapter um, 8 verse 12 where it says that there will come a time when there will be a famine for the word of God, when people shall run to and fro seeking the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Mm -hmm. So if that time is coming, then we should seek the Lord now while he may be found. Mm -hmm. So if you have a Bible, we invite you to open it now and we are turning to Psalm 1. And we are going to look at only the first two verses of Psalm 1 this evening. So I'm going to, I've committed, and so is Renee and, uh, and our children when they were growing up, we've committed Psalm 1 to memory. So we're going to just uh, share the whole Psalm with you to begin with. It's, it's a few verses, and then we're going to talk about it. So it's, it begins this way, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Mm -hmm. So, Mark and I want to encourage you to memorize this first psalm word for word. Mm -hmm. And to help you memorize Psalm 1, we have put a link in the description to a song of the first three verses. Because whenever you put scripture to music, mm -hmm. it's so much easy much to make, easier. much easier to memorize. And then we will also put another link to an app that you can download free of charge. And the app is called Scripture Singer. And I have that app on my phone. So Psalm 1, uh, many people look at it as a psalm actually about Jesus and his character, about the Messiah and the character of those who are like him or Christians. So the first word in Psalm 1 is blessed, or in some translations, happy. So the blessed person is happy because of what he does not do. So I'll take a look at this. It says, blessed is the person who, who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Mm -hmm. It's like what Paul writes in Titus. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness. And this is found in Titus 2, verses 11 to 12. So God is saying, do you want to be happy? Then if you do, say, say no to ungodliness. Yeah. It's like the Ten Commandments when God keeps saying, you shall not, you shall not, you shall not. Mm -hmm. Right? So what if a little boy was playing with the basketball and the basketball started rolling towards the road? And his father was watching, and his father saw a big truck rearing down the road mm -hmm. as the ball was going towards the road, and his son was following it. Mm -hmm. So do you think if there was a situation that that father would say, well, I don't want to scare my son, so I'm just not going to say anything? Uh, that would not be loving. No. That would be a very evil thing to there do. That would not be a loving thing to do. A loving father would shout, no, stop, right? And it might scare his child when he shouts at him, but at least it's going to save his child's life. So that's exactly why God says thou shalt not, mm. because he loves us mm -hmm. and he wants to save us from hurting ourselves. Psalm 1 verse 2 says, but his delight is, that is the blessed man is in the law of the Lord 
and in his law he meditates day and night. So can you imagine delighting in the Ten Commandments or the law of the Lord so much that you meditate on it day and night? Like that's the character of Jesus. And um, so what does that look like? Uh, how would it affect you if you were to meditate on the law of the Lord day and night? And, and, and what would that do to you? What would it do to your family or your friends or your neighborhood? Wow. So if we asked you to list the Ten Commandments for us from the first commandment right down to the Tenth Commandment in order, in mm -hmm. the correct order, would you be able to do that? So what we're going to do the rest of the time together is we're going to give you a way of memorizing it that's so simple, the Ten Commandments, that you will never forget it ever again. But before we do this, we want to remind you what the underlying principle of the Ten Commandments or the law of the Lord is. And that's found in two verses in the Bible. One's in Matthew, the other one's in Romans. Mm -hmm. The first one is found in Matthew 22, verses 37 to 40. And Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Mm -hmm. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. So two, Jesus says, now Paul in Romans chapter 13 verse 10 reduces it down to one. He says, love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. So love fills the law full. It's the completion. So in other words, Love is a relationship word. So the Ten Commandments are all about keeping your relationship solid, healthy, enduring, strong. And that's why the Bible says, so the law is holy and the commandment is holy and righteous and good. Mm -hmm. So the overarching structure of the Ten Commandments is love. Yep. And the first four commandments are about our love for God. So it's like this vertical relationship. Yeah, between us and God. Mm -hmm. And the last six are about I love for one another. Mm -hmm. So it's a horizontal relationship. So you can kind of see a cross, cross. going there. Mm -hmm. So the cross, of course, is the greatest picture of love. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to show you the Ten Commandments. All you have to do is have ten fingers. And if you have ten fingers, then you can learn the Ten Commandments. So take, let's take a look okay. at this. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so the first commandment, you're going to hold up one, your one index finger, and this is the first commandment. There is only one, one God. God. And have no other gods before Four. me, because there are no other gods. Mm -hmm. okay. The second commandment, you're going to hold up two fingers, and the one is going to bow down to the other. Mm -hmm. So the second one is, do, do not, not worship, worship idols. idols. The third commandment, you're going to hold up three fingers, Put them over your mouth. Do not use the, the Lord's, Lord's name in, in vain. vain. In the fourth commandment, you're going to hold up two fingers on either side for number four. Put them to your temple. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Pretty easy, eh? So the first four are about love for God. The last six are about love for others. Now take a look. If you take your five fingers for commandment number five, and you hold them like a soldier and you salute, it's honor your father and your mother. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty easy, eh? And then number six, say this is a spear and this is a guy. So you go, do not kill, do not kill. Okay, that's pretty easy to remember. That's number six. six. And number seven, this is mom and dad and they're under one roof. So, the ten, so there's seven fingers. So the one roof is the five fingers. So the seventh commandment is do not commit adultery, mm -hmm. okay? Your home is sacred. And then in some countries, you got your, your thumbs get cut off if you steal. steal. So mm -hmm. this is do not steal, do. number eight. Mm -hmm. Number nine, take all those nine fingers and put them over your mouth just like you did with the third commandment. And you say what? Do, do, not, not, lie. do not lie or, or do bear not false bear witness. false witness. Mm -hmm. And then number 10 is 10 fingers. So imagine you're holding your neighbor's fence and you look over your neighbor's fence, it says, do not covet. Do not covet what belongs to your neighbor, any of his relationships or his property. 
So mm -hmm. pretty easy. So now do you think you'll be able to remember all 10 commandments in the future? No problem. Now you will be the blessed person because it's easier to meditate on the law of the Lord day and night when you know what the law of the Lord is. Mm -hmm. The Ten Commandments show us that we are engineered to love God and to love one another for all eternity. So what would that be like? I think it'd be like heaven. Wouldn't it be wonderful if every human being internalized the Ten Commandments and they kept them from their heart? Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. It would be. So look at Psalm 119 verses 97 to 99. Oh, how I love your law. I meditate on a day all day long. Your commands are always with me and make me wiser than my enemies. I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. So all true um, obedience to the commandments or, or it, it really comes from the heart, really, you know, and, and so you are only going to obey the commands thou shalt not thou shalt not thou shalt not if you're you you love the lawgiver from your heart so he's not he's not like a a, a prison guard no he, he he's not you know he, it's internal it's you've internalized it for yourself mm -hmm. and you lo love mm -hmm. the lawgiver mm -hmm. so deep love from the heart is the only true love everything else is mere talk dry formality, and heavy drudgery. Now, let me just tell you something. I love my wife, but I don't love Renee in order that I can make myself happy. No. So I, can, I don't say to myself, I want to be happy, so I better love my wife. No. Because I love her, I'm happy, and it's mm -hmm. heaven on earth. So happiness and love, it really comes from the heart, mm -hmm. and so it's an outflowing of what you have internalized. Mm -hmm. And the same holds true for all ten the commandments. They yeah. are all about love. Mm -hmm. And love is about making deeply meaningful, eternal connections with God, with family, with friends, and even with people who are strangers. Mm. So when we see the law of the Lord is based on the eternal principle of love, then breaking the law is not seen as breaking a rule, it is seen as breaking a relationship. So we were made for relationships, that's the way we were created. And when we break those sacred connections, we hurt ourselves, we hurt others, and we break the heart of our Creator. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, before we say goodbye to uh -huh. you, because our time is almost up, how about we go through those Ten Commandments again? Yeah, let's do it quickly. Our, using our fingers. Okay, you ready? There is only one, one God. God. Mm -hmm. First commandment, do not God. bow down to bow down. idols. So one index finger bowing down to the other. Do not God. use the, the Lord's, Lord's name in vain. vain. Put those three fingers over your mouth. Okay. Fourth, commandment, Fourth commandment, remember the Sabbath to, to keep, keep it holy. holy. Number five. Fifth commandment, honor, honor your, your father, father and, and your, your mother. mother. Honor. Sixth commandment, do not, not Kill. kill. Do not kill. Okay. Seventh, Seventh commandment. Do not commit adultery. adultery. Father and mother under one roof. Eighth, and do, do not, not steal. steal. Because in some countries they cut off your, your thumbs. <laughs> so there's eight fingers. Do Ninth not, commandment. Yes. Do not bear false, bear false witness, witness or do not lie. Right. And, and tenth ten, commandment. Do, do not, not covet. covet. Do not look over your neighbor's fence and and desire what belongs to you. Great heart. job. You yeah. guys did awesome. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> okay, let's pray before we end. Okay. Father, we ask you to fill our hearts to overflowing with love for you and for others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So happy Sabbath, friends, uh, and thank you for joining us this Sabbath, uh, just to welcome in the Sabbath this Friday evening. And we're going to do the same next Friday evening, and we hope you can bring a friend. We will leave a video of this actual session uh, here on Facebook. And um, thank you for joining us. Next week, we will go a deep dive into Psalm 1, mm -hmm. and we're going to tell you a story 
and we look forward to meeting with you then. Yeah. So God bless you, and uh, thank you for joining us. So happy Sabbath, and um, see you next week. See you next week. Okay. Bye bye. Bye now. <laughs>